Hey guys, and welcome back to another Geometry Dash video. This video is going to be about how to use the level editor. It's going to cover everything from placing blocks to instant count triggers. But before we get into it, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for all future uploads. I try to upload once per week so I won't flood your notification box or anything. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing to talk about is all the tabs. The first tab is for blocks. The second tab is for half blocks, then lines, then slopes, then spikes, then 3D lines, then pads and orbs, then spike decorations, then general decorations, then pulsing decorations, spinning objects, triggers, and custom objects. Layers are a really good thing to use. Instead of stacking a bunch of objects on top of each other on the same layer, try using different layers by selecting a different one on the bottom right corner with the arrows. This way, you won't have to tap through all of the objects and try to find the one you want. And just to show you how important layers can be, here is Finger Dash as a copyable level, and here I am looking through all the layers. In order to set colors, go to the gear in the top right corner, and then go to More, so the plus, and then you can tap on the colors and select whatever color you want with the outside ring, and then you can select shades with the inside circle. And you can do this for any color, so you can have infinite colors. And then you can also have transparent colors using the opacity slider. And so now any colored object that you place will now default to either player color 1 or color channel 1. And that's all good, unless you want to have multiple colors. So the first thing you want to do is create another object to make another color with. Uh, here I just copy and paste my glow. Then select it and go to the blue edit object and then you can tap on any one of these numbers. So you can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And for any other number over 10 you can just use the buttons on the right. And then you'll see when you go back it will be the color you selected. In my case, it was black. So now we're going to talk about triggers. The first trigger we're going to use is the move trigger. So you'll find it in the trigger section on the first page, and then just place it down. And now press Edit Object, and then now you can change where it's going to move. And this is the confusing part. So if I set Move X to 15, that means it's going to move 1.5 blocks. And same for the Y, so if I set it to move, for example, 30, it's not going to move 30 blocks, it's going to move 3 blocks. And make sure to set what group it is with the button at the bottom. That's it for the actual trigger, and now we're going to place our block that we want it to move. So now I place the block, and then press Edit Group, and now you can use the buttons, and make sure to press the Add button. And you can actually set it to multiple groups, so you can set it to group 1, 2, 3, and 4. But if you want to remove the group, just tap on the number. And now, if we go to play test it, you can see the block moves. Okay, so here's how to use the alpha trigger. So first you place it down, then you go to edit object. And so you make sure to set the group ID to a group that you haven't used before. So I'm going to use 2, for example. And then with the opacity slider, you can set it to any opacity you want. So you can make an object completely invisible, like I am here. And then you can the fade time is just how long it takes. So you can make it very fast or very slow. So here I set it to two seconds. And then now we place the block. We go to edit group. And we set it to two, because that's what we put the alpha trigger on. And now we place test it. Oh, there's our moving block. And there's our invisible block. And so now that you know how to use the move and the alpha trigger, using all the all other triggers are basically the same thing. You, if you need help, you can just press the I button in the top corner, and that'll give you some help. Well, thanks for watching. Please make sure to drop a like, as it really helps out the channel a lot. I also read all of my comments, so make sure to comment down below. Today's shoutout is Hoyoidoi Gaming. He made a res video response to my what not to put in your geometry dash level video, and it's really funny. As of writing this script, he's at 95 subs, so if all of you go and subscribe to him, he's going to hit triple digits. So let's make that happen for him. Well, this is HackerCat, signing off.